the Israeli army has now ramped up the strikes on Hamas. Over 250 Hamas, had, Hamas had, targets have been destroyed so far. Ground offensive now looming large over Gaza. Hamas, on the other hand, says that it will use the full force after Israel steps up Gaza ground operations. Over 250 Hamas targets have been destroyed so far by the Israeli army. Israeli army is going on in full offensive and it seems like the ground offensive is now looming large over Gaza. Hamas on the other side has said that it will use its full force after Israel has stepped up Gaza ground operations. My colleague Shiv, who's been reporting from the ground, is now joining me on the broadcast. Shiv, what's the latest situation on ground? Do you see Israel being any closer to a ground invasion of Gaza? Very, very significant developments uh, late last night. Uh, the Israeli Defense Forces have announced uh, in a briefing uh, that they've uh, increased the tempo of their ground strikes. The operational activity uh, uh, from the ground in Gaza has increased significantly. And this comes alongside, uh, you know, a, a, a big increase in airstrikes. They've specifically said that they're targeting, you know, the underground tunnel network of the Hamas. This comes, remember, a day after uh, the Israeli Defense Forces had said uh, that they've managed to, uh, you know, eliminate a deputy commander of the intelligence directorate of the Hamas as well as several battalion commanders uh, but now they're talking about uh, increasing operational activity from the ground uh, now whether that means uh, you know more tanks rolling in or uh, you know a greater quantity of special forces uh, activity is not known just yet they haven't put out that particular information but we do know that this is significant because remember there is a huge amount of pressure on Israel to uh, you know uh, Get moving on that end game uh, as far as the hostage crisis is concerned and the elimination of Hamas is concerned. It continues to be a dilemma, but these two announcements uh, probably suggest that Israel is a not backing off. Most certainly, the opposite of you know uh, softening up as far as uh, Gaza is concerned and is increasing, increasing attack in its uh, its attacks. Uh, one of the reasons that the last few days have seen uh, you know uh, some some limited uh, ground operations is because it is to draw out fire uh, to, to test the defenses of the Hamas uh, you know that it has especially in the northern part of Gaza and then increase the tempo uh, and the uh, you know and the the quantity of force that is going to be poured into Gaza so I think we could be at the beginnings of that right now